Hello, I'm Cheryl, and this is Sleep Tight Relax, a calming bedtime podcast for the young and young at heart. In this story, Little Bear wakes up and starts thinking about what he is going to have for breakfast. He does his stretching and listens to the sounds of the others in the house. As he heads downstairs, he hears Joe Otter wondering about his homework and decides to give him a surprise. Did you know that in the north, bears sleep in the winter, but they don't hibernate? Hibernating animals have a very low temperature. Bears just take a long, long nap. Sometimes they wake up and go out in the winter. Most experts think polar bears are the largest bears, with males weighing between 900 and 1,500 pounds. Brown bears are the next largest. Now, before we continue with our story, let's start by making sure you are comfy and taking some great Big belly breaths. Breathing in slowly through your nose. And slowly out through your mouth. Notice how your belly rises as you fill yourself up with air. Breathe in. And breathe out. Notice how relaxing it feels as you release the breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. You are becoming relaxed, calm, and peaceful. One more time. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Great. Let's continue with our story. Little Bear yawned as he lay on his comfortable bed under a mountain of blankets and watched the first early morning sunbeams peeping through the windows of his second floor bedroom. Once more he yawned and slowly got to his feet landing on the cold floor, which led to a quick jump over to the rug. It was winter after all, and the floor was cold. Then on the rug, he stood up on his hind legs, reached as high up as he could towards the ceiling, and did his morning stretches and breathing exercises. After that, he yawned until it seemed as if his jaws would crack, and then sat down on the floor with a thump to think about what he wanted for breakfast. While he sat there trying to make up his mind what would taste best, he was listening to the sounds of all the other people who live with him in this great big house, waking and stirring about. 
He heard Sammy J downstairs in the kitchen yelling, Thief! Thief! and grinned. I wonder, thought Buster, if someone has taken a big bite of Sammy's breakfast. Or if he has taken a bite of the breakfast of someone else. Probably he is the one eating someone else's breakfast. He heard Chatterer the Red Squirrel in his bedroom, talking as fast as he could make his tongue go, and working himself into a terrible state. Must be that Chatterer got out of bed the wrong way this morning, thought Little Bear. He heard Blackie the Crow, who lived in the attic room, cawing at the top of his lungs. And he knew by the sound that Blackie was getting into trouble of some kind. Maybe Blackie made a mess of the garbage again, and Grandma Elk was giving her a scolding. He heard the sweet voices of the happy little singers, the twins, Mary and Jane, and they were good to hear. But most of all, he listened to a merry, silvery howl that never stopped, but went on and on, until he just felt as if he must howl too. It was the voice of Old Gray Wolf, and he was obviously busy preparing a healthy breakfast for this family that lived in the house. I wonder what Gray Wolf is making, Little Bear said in his deep, grumbly, rumbly voice to no one in particular. I bet it's honey cakes, pancakes, and milk tea with honey. He shuffled down the stairs from his bedroom to the first floor, taking care not to make the teeniest, weeniest bit of noise. He even avoided the creak in the steps. It just so happened that he heard another member of the family in the living room making a commotion about not knowing where his homework was. It was little Joe Otter. Now, little Joe hadn't heard Little Bear, and he didn't know that he or anyone else was near him in the living room. Little Bear tiptoed very softly so softly and slowly until he was right behind Little Joe. Whoa, said Little Bear in his deepest, loudest, most grumbly, rumbly voice. Little Joe Otter gave a frightened squeal, jumped so high he almost hit his head on the ceiling and landed on the chandelier. Little Joe yelled, Little Bear, You always do this. Little Bear started to chuckle because he always loved to play tricks on Little Joe. But though only an otter, Little Joe was still pretty heavy and it wasn't long before the chandelier started to fall with him still on it. Little Joe squeaked. Little Bear barked, sprang forward, and with both of his big paws, caught Little Joe and the chandelier, just in time for Gray Wolf to walk in the room, give a long sigh at seeing the destruction on the ceiling, and in a low growl, told them to clean up and come to the table for breakfast. Little Bear and Little Joe walked into the kitchen, took their seats beside the twins, Mary and Jane, Blackie, Chatterer, and Sammy Jay, as Grandma Elk and Old Gray Wolf served them a breakfast of oatmeal porridge with fruits and nuts on top. There was not a honey cake or a pancake to be seen, But Grandma Elk did come by with a spoonful of honey for his oatmeal. So Little Bear was happy and ready to start his day. 
And that's the end of our story. Now say after me if you like, I am grateful for the wonderful food given to me. I am confident and capable. I am loved. I am calm, relaxed, and peaceful. Sleep tight. Thank you.